<laughs> All right. So if you remember, I was drilling out my nozzles that I had for my Anycubic Cobra 3 uh, from 0.4 to 0.6 and also then 0.8. But what if you want to go the other way? So I had broken off a drill bit in this 0.4 millimeter um, nozzle. And so I'm actually going to go in and press out that hardened steel uh, 0.4 millimeter insert in there with a punch. And so I'm just gonna clamp this into my um, vise and then put the tip on it and then put like a socket or something over the top, hammer it down and hopefully it'll drive that um, carbon steel chunk out of there that's pressed in. Um, I was able to easily buy a two pack of 0.2 I think it's 0.2, might be 0.25. Either way, millimeter nozzles with a hardened tip. I think it was like 10 bucks for a two pack. Uh, and instead of having to thread this into the front of it, which is a lot of work, I'm gonna just punch this one out and then press them in together. And hopefully I'll have my own 0.2 millimeter nozzle for the Anycubic Cobra 3 Max, which doesn't exist. And uh, Hopefully, then other people can make it too. We'll find out. Let's try it. Here I'm using my .8 to make uh, one of those awesome Gridfinity cases. It's, uh, it's doing pretty sweet. I think it takes like seven hours to make this one box. 13 hours total for the entire case. I've got a 1.8 millimeter rod here. I'm gonna slide this guy on and then Gonna use the screwdriver as my hollow shaft to stick over the top here. And then I'm just gonna hopefully pound that out. Okay, that actually started to work. Look at that. Okay, so that slipped right out of there. Just a little bit of force. So I'm gonna get the rest of the way. Gotta raise up my rod. Oh, actually just pressed out just by wiggling it. Great. I might actually be able to salvage this if I wanted to and get the carbide bit that I broke off in there out, but that's not what I'm trying to do right now. We're gonna grab now this guy. We are going to hammer him out. Let's do it. Okay, got it on there. Oh, this guy is too small, too big. Too big for that. All right, this is a 3 16 inch socket driver. I'm just going to plop it on top here and goodness it just fell right out of there I don't even know where it went okay so oh oh goodness I I broke that apart I think yeah I think that just blasted right through that piece of steel which is super unfortunate that didn't work. Uh, it it broke this guy right off. It's interesting. These look like they've been uh, pressed in all around it to keep them in on this, this top part. Maybe I can shove this in the lathe and just machine away a section. I'm gonna try that. Why you wear safety goggles? Now where it went, I have no clue. This is what I get for running my lathe off of a filing cabinet because my whole shop's a mess right now, but I'm still trying to do stuff. Ha, huh. 
I was finally able to get this thing out of there. Look at that. Got it out. They look... They look pretty similar. One might be bigger than the other though, we're gonna find out. One of these is 3.51. And one of these is 3.02. Boo! Okay, but which is which? Point nine one, so we can drill this out. Woohoo! Before I go through all this effort, I want to double check that this is even a 0.25 nozzle. I was able to get the 0.2 on there, so this is in fact a true 0.2 millimeter nozzle. It's crazy. Couldn't even tell. Let's see what this says. Oh, unreadable. All right. You can kind of see a hole there. Very faint. Itty bitty hole. Okay, moment of truth. Ooh, it fits so nice. Wow, that looks professional. And let's compare the height. So I need to drop it down just a hair. So I'm using my little palm grin vise here. I'm just going to press this uh, nozzle slightly in. Hopefully not break it. Okay, we're going to go check this height now. Okay, 2.86. It's as close as I'm gonna get. Tiny wrenches. I think I need a five. Yep. And a 10. Yep. If you're wondering what these wrenches are for, these are actually for um, doing fuel lines and uh, hydraulics. I now have an official 0.2 nozzle. So, changing the nozzle, settings, print settings, non-standard, 0.25, okay. Then I need to reboot. Alright, nozzle replaced, recalibration required. There it goes. Some people are wondering about how I set my settings. So I started off with printer settings up top and point to nozzle. So I took the existing setting and went in here and changed it to 0.25, even though I have a 0.2 millimeter nozzle. And the reason for this is that this is the setting in the firmware. And if you don't match it, it will not allow you to print. Secondly, I then set my layer height limits to 25 and 75% of the nozzle diameter, so 0 0.05, 0 0.15 millimeter. And so then save this as something that you can remember because you want to match it every time you use that nozzle size. So, okay. Then you need to set your filament. And so your filament, again, I made another filament setting for the 0.2 millimeter nozzle um, using I tested it with PLA for flow rates and things like that, which I'll show you in a second. But the big thing is, is that for me at least, I found my flow ratio needed to be lower at 0.89. And uh, my volumetric speed needed to be 11 millimeters a second. Yep. And the way I found out those two numbers, this max volumetric and this flow ratio, is I went up here to calibration and I did a first pass flow rate and then I did a uh, max flow rate to figure out the 11 millimeters a second. And so this flow rate's more of like, you know, how it flows 
normally it's ratio and then this one is like what's the absolute max material it can put out so with that in mind for 0 0.5, 0 0.05 millimeter fine settings I had set layer heights of 0 0.05 line widths of 0 0.21 and uh, I think that's kind of it for settings for that um, you can change your your speed and all that to whatever you want wall loops I have set to 4 and then speeds 45 45 I mean this can probably be like 90 um, 150 and 200 kind of have it going a little bit slower for the point one two layer height setting I've got it set to 50 and 90 for speed there and 250 and 350 here um, for strength four walls again quality uh, 0.125 millimeters for layer height and then 0.24 again for line widths and that'll kind of get you what you need for settings so um, if I find something to print let's go here to oh what would look cool Oh, just a benchy here's your benchy and then essentially you just slice your plate and send it over to your printer all right i just finished this uh max flow rate test and it looks pretty good all the way up to 15 cubic millimeters a second. Pretty happy. All right, pretty good with these little guys. Look at this beautiful, super thin part there. Here's another one. This one was done in vase mode in a single wall 0.05 millimeter it weighs almost nothing it feels like it's just wafer thin so either way printer's total capable hmm. so either way the printer is totally capable of printing uh, with a 0.05 millimeter layer height with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle super excited so one thing I really love about the Anycubic Cobra 3 Max printer is that it's got these hot swappable nozzles and I didn't really I mean I, I've been appreciating it and then I got my first nozzle replacement for my uh, Elegoose and Cherry Carbon and this is the 0 0.2 millimeter nozzle which that tells me you know every time I want to swap out a 0.2 millimeter nozzle for the carbon printer it's going to have to involve undoing these two screws and those two connectors pulling this whole thing off which isn't so bad but none of it is as easy as just sliding this in and locking that quick release it's super awesome originally i wanted to make this little threaded part screw into an adapter here but there's just not a lot of meat so this is six and a half millimeters od and this guy is an m6 thread and so that leaves 0.25 millimeters left of material in order to hold the nozzle in place and like, I'm pretty good at machining stuff but that seemed just to be a little bit thin and probably would just like torque off when I went to actually screw this in so didn't seem like it was going to work this is how small a 25% benchy is on this printer so tiny Look how tiny that is! It's so cute! I'm pretty blown away with how tiny it printed a good Benchy. I did a 0 0.05 millimeter layer height with my 0.2 millimeter nozzle, and I think this is a pretty good test to show that it has all the capability I need to do much smaller, high definition prints. I think that's a success for testing out the 0.2 millimeter nozzle I made. If it can print this tiny, tiny benchy, I think it'll do what I need it to do 
on this massive printer. Check out my other videos to see how to drill out larger nozzles and uh, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.